hello and welcome everybody today i'm gonna do my reply to the last debate uh, that has been between uh, muhammad hijab and the apostate prophet and show you where is uh, uh, the lie and misconception that muhammad hijab used in this debate from islam the only ruling in islam is that the person who's a public apostate is put to death in fact our first mistake or the misconception he used the public apostate by saying there is no something in the Islam called public apostate and another apostate Man is clear hadith from the Prophet and Sahaba all agree upon and everybody Muslim world agree upon and never heard in my lifetime of being a Muslim for more than 30 years devoted Muslim never heard such a thing called public uh, apostate or uh, even in Arabic I don't know how you're gonna call it al الجمهور الملحد الجمهوري او الملحد العلني we don't have any like a term in Arabic that uh, refer to a public uh, apostate in the treaty of Hudaybiyah where the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu had a negotiation with uh, Suhail ibn Amr in the, uh, the treaty of uh, the Hudaybiyah and that is a treaty according to the war is have nothing to do with the uh, with the apostate and the uh, and the law of apostasy treaty there was a clear um, parenthesis put in place or a clause, a stipulation put in place whereby uh, apostates would be actually redirected or strategically relocated. The, the negotiation what was he writes had uh, this is what we agree upon Abdullah bin Suhail bin Amru we agree upon with the messenger uh, Sulh that we are going to stop war on the people 10 years that's the first uh, have no war for 10 years the second one was from Medina, Ashab Muhammad, the, person, uh, the messenger companion to come, they are saved until they want to come back and if they want to see Wali without the permission of his owner here they're talking about slave if he run away they have no problem of uh, of people going to, to Pro Muhammad Prophet and converting but anybody who go to Prophet and uh, convert to Islam but he was a slave he have no you know they have to pay his money back because a slave as most people doesn't know that a slave can be a Muslim you know for that reason Muqayyim al -Jawziya. And many of the scholars, in fact, from my reading, the majority of scholars say it's possible that a public apostate, and listen carefully, I'm answering your question. No, uh, nobody knows that there is a public apostate until you bring it now. Do you speak Arabic, there is no such a thing called a public apostate in Arabic term. Indirectly, a public apostate, just like yourself, not just within the Western world, but within an Islamic state, uh, is not actually put to death and is strategically located. Uh, to another country, for example, there is nothing in uh, in the history of the Islam something like that. Even, and that is not despite the Islamic law. That is because of it. And the reason and the evidence of that is the Hadith in Bukhari, which is the, as you know, the most authoritative Hadith book, which stipulates this point uh, on, on on the Kitab of, um, sorry, the, the Hadith of uh, Suhail Naam. Uh, the Hadith on Suhail ibn uh, Amr that come in uh, Bukhari. I hear in the English the chapter of the condition permissible on the embracing Islam and in contracts and tra transaction. If uh, there is a war or peace treaties, it's like a peace treaties. But the thing he doesn't mention, he not going to mention you that uh, if you come in and read here what's happened the, the first 10 years, he doesn't respect that one. And this one here he said, uh, Um Kaltum. Bint Uqba, Um Kaltu Bint Uqba, who came to Allah Messenger and she was a young lady, then her relative came to the Prophet and asked him to return her back. But the Prophet uh, did not return her to them, for Allah had revealed the following verse regarding the woman 6010. Verse, uh, no, uh, chapter 60, verse 10. So the woman coming from Quraysh, but he doesn't respect his agreement to return them back, but he keep the woman. And he, lately, because before, he sent back a man. But because a woman, he doesn't send her back. That's why the verse come in. If the woman come in to you, don't send them back. If the man come in, you can send them back.
So in other words, what I actually recommend in my book, which is ironic, I say that in this day and age, my position is not that apostates, even in Muslim countries. So, so you can't even, you know, make your uh, make your own <laughs> opinion clear in the West. How you can make your opinion clear in the in the Muslim world? I don't know how it, the people are going to follow you, and you you throw in the Hadith and throw in the Quran and throw in all Sahaba and Tabi'in, and uh, you know how many people die in the apostasy war how many people die you you're going to forget all of this just to to prove your point from a hadith does you know even allow you know out of subject had talking about the treaties and the, the war treaties have nothing to do with the with the apostasy if we go to the hadith we're talking about whoever changed his uh, islamic religion killed him he is in Sahih al-Bukhari Kitab Istitabat al-Murtaddina wal-Mu'anidina wa Qitalihim The book of the people who apostasy people who want to leave the Islam how to deal with them Bab Hukm This is Hukm This you know This is not a This is not just a Hadith You know this is not just a Hadith you can change What Hukm mean it's a rule. This is hadith in a ruling. It's not hadith for uh, yeah apostate and opposite and they respond. This is the respond of the fuqah uh, all agree upon. I don't know where this guy bring his Islam. Other non-Muslim countries, such that if a public apostate become apparent in the public sphere, public yes, that such public apostates are relocated, and he is basing. He keeps saying public apostate because because you supposed to be a Muslim and if you left Islam you have to you don't have to say it. So for example if I am in Morocco and I left Islam I have to keep silence and fast and don't eat outside you know you you hurt the feeling you can't smoke a cigarette outside you can't do nothing uh, you that is all and now this is all you have to do and we don't have like an islamic state and if we have an islamic state it will be the punishment for uh, the most people like mr hijab he doesn't know that uh, the punishment of the living prayer is uh, by death is by death penalty if you don't pray you going to cut your head by that by safe had the safe or ajma al fuqaha the the juristic all agree upon this one and you can't say that if uh, we have the ideal islamic state the ideal islamic state if you don't go to the prayer to the mosque your house will burn your head be caught in this on the final hadith of the prophet Muhammad, where he the prophet allowed such uh, thing to happen how is his last hadith there is no such a thing called last hadith Sulh al hudaybiyah is way be, be, before they even entered mecca how can be the last hadith the surat at tawbah is the last quran so stop missing this conception that because he is sitting with the apostate because our apostate prophet does not understand arabic and he think he going to bombard him with the lies so he can you know so he can get up and winning like a winner and pumping his chest like uh, everybody say no this is so so lie he is he just bombarded him with the lies after lies after lies after lies so it's just a recommendation no it's a recommendation based on the actions of the prophet that but that's all it is so you would yeah, still in the end he say based on the action of the Prophet, the action of the Prophet in Sulh al hudaybiyah he was forced his hand to do so. But the apostasy, he, if you say his action, his last action, he was killing 
action was uh, from them to kill the apostates because when he's uh, if I tell you uh, I did uh, mention before in my video the story of Abu Sah who was writing the Quran on his hand and he's uh, tell him to write something and he write it different and take Ali Khabir and he writes some different some Malik al Qadir something like this and he told him uh, uh, the Abdul Sarh and the Prophet, why you know I I write it wrong and I, he told him and he told him no it is like this uh, come it came down and uh, Abdullah Sarh is uh, is apostate and uh, and he ran away to to Mecca when the Prophet opened Mecca this is after open Mecca and uh, this said three people if you see them kill them is Abdullah bin Abdul Sarh. Or another two, it was two women. I think they are they make poetry against him. So why this guy talking about? I don't know. Abdullah bin Sarah, he was to die until but but Uthman he protect him and who one who is uh, when Uthman uh, you know get to the Khilafah he get Uthman killed by making you know by making uh, stolen money from I think he was in uh, in Masr or or Basra and people rage against him and they want him to change him but Omar keep running his head you know Uthman and he don't want to change him because his uh, his brother I think his brother in the in the breastfeeding and until the people in the Medina get fed of him and get uh, uh, stole his house and uh, and kill him and left him three days without the son of Omar and uh, and Ali want to bury him the Muslim that time so no they don't want to bury him and they keep stoning him even his death and they refuse to you know refuse to bury him in a Muslim place until they bury him in a Jewish um, uh, cemetery you know, so the Sahabi come to the Rasul and he ask uh, Rasul tell him why is nobody from you get up and kill this guy he told him uh, well, uh, the, another guy told the Prophet well, I was waiting for you to mention, you know, to say something or to do something. He's like, uh, don't do this, uh, this moves. But you remember, in the English, they want to, there's two qiraas, yeah? Tabarak and Ladi. Ja'ala. Tabarak and Ladi Ja'ala fi sama'i burujan. Verse 61, chapter 25, verse 61. For Qa'an. There's two qiraas. There's one qiraa was. Uh, glory be to the one. Yes, uh, verse 25, uh, 61, I think he say. 61. Tabarak al-Ladhi ja'ala fi s-sama'i burujan wa ja'ala fiha sirajan wa qamaran munira. Let's see what this guy is. So, tafsir al-Tabari. وجعل في السماء قصورا في السماء places فيها بروجا because this بروج where is this meteor is coming from تاني وبعيد عن السماء تبارك الذي جعل because they think there is a places in the sky and the guards sitting down there and throwing this this thing on the you know on the jinn اختلف القراء they have uh, uh, the people who is خلاف uh, قراءات uh, they differ في how do you read this one for Basra, Medina, Al Basra, Al Medina, the place where the Prophet was, and Al Basra as well. وجعل فيها سراج على التوحيد the single وجعل تأويل ذلك أنه جعل الشمس فيها say a shams one star. The second one, he's make he gonna make his conclusion. وهي سراج التي تعني بقوله وجعل فيها سراج هير سراج. وجعل فيها سر... أي على الجماع كأنهم وجهوا تأويله وجعلوا فيه نجوما وقمرا منيرا it, Here they explain it as why they put سرج because they put the stars to explain as they are سرج not the sun because the first uh, the first one who, who read it like a سراج on a single may explain سراج as me the single sun but those who write it in the in the multiple surujan yeah they explain suruj meaning as a stars not as a suns not too many suns Sun stars but the quran here specifically meaning either 
the both qiraat either have to be one sun or the stars not the sun not too many suns but i know how he went to jazz uh, quran and science i really start laughing because he think is nobody going to correct him on his you know is on his stunts and bullshit you know this is called a stunts and bullshit because when he talking about surujan by by by, by multiple he is uh, referring to the stars but when he talking about surajan sirajan on single he refer to the sons nothing here to show nothing here to say shumus ashmas bil arabi but we have to do sons ashmas shumus even here he said qamaran munira i just seen it qamaran munira it can't be one single moon qamaran Munira and Surujan because <laughs> he, he said they put fiha stars you know that's why they why they put Surujan because the stars Surujan is a stars fiha nujum stars munira because if he want to refer to Surujan as a sons he gonna change this Qamaran he have put Qamaran he have put Qamaran no Qamaran and he put it here in uh, they put like uh, the marks so people can understand Qamaran no Qamaran you know he's not Dhamma Qamaran he's Qamaran you know so people know because if they don't put this mark people are gonna say wa qumran munira you go ah, okay but no they they already tell you this is how to read it wa ja'alun nujuma they put the stars as siraj you know the stars as siraj idha kana yahdi biha they go guided with her was sawabu min al qawli fi dhalika indi an yuqala innahuma qira'atan mashhuratan fi qira'atan they are both correct they said they are both correct each one have a side uh, understandable side but if we understand this from the side they understand but not as from the side that Muhammad Hijab want to show the people that uh, looking قارئ فمصيبة قوله وقمرا منيرا. They say here any way you write you read it as 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 far as you have to write to read قمر was single one. You don't have to to change قمر to قمر. I know change قمر the the meaning of the verse going to to differ on the meaning what the Sahaba understood and what the Prophet understood. This is like uh, you, you know, to to disqualify all these people here, just to prove your uh, your point that there are too many sons in the Quran. Uh, no, there is no. That means one son. That's what Tabari said. Uh, and the other one say, Surujan, uh, yeah, which means many sons. That's See, it does not mean many sons. Yeah, it's compatible. <laughs> This guy, I don't think is is even read Quran, or if he know, you know, the big mistake there in the Quran. He say here, verse uh, the chapter Mu'minin, uh, chapter twenty-three, verse fourteen. <laughs> mean that he create the bones first then they put the meat on the bones then we make it another creation he said the water that came out from the the back the back of the the man yeah his back not from his text testicle no from his back وَتَرَائِبْ الْمَرْأَةِ I'm sorry, yeah, the bones of her chest Yeah, the bones of her chest And the woman, this man, this water from the man and the woman They came together and they make this uh, blood thing وَبَيْنْ مُدْغَةَ عَلَقَةَ We make this uh, blood uh, 
a small piece of meat لا شكل فيه ولا حتى they have no shape nothing فخلقنا مدغة عدم and this shape small shape of meat and from this one we make uh, the bones all the bones the head all we make all them ready وشكلنا الرأس يا yeah. we make the head first the second the, the hand the legs بعظامها with their bones and their yeah, the, the bone solid bone وفي الصحيح it said everything in uh, in human the, the prophet said he going to disappear unless this uh, the backbones عظم الجنب the backbones فكسونا العظام لحما yeah then we put yeah then we put the uh, Uh, the the meat on the top of the bone. We put the meat on the top of the bone. Yes, to who he should do it more. Even they say he make it stronger when he put the meat. So the Quran uh, looking at the baby is make a, like a skeleton first. Then they add the meat and the the, the muscles and everything. <laughs> And uh, this one is compatible with the science, the 21st century. Where it says that he, 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 he makes a, you know, he talks about the, the sun, the moon, and that. Uh, you cover him means that he rolls the night so, the day, no uh, here is another uh, you know misconception he uses that you cover layla al nahari wa you cover al nahara al layl there is another verses wa wa yatlubu hu hathithan you know this all meaning that the night you know going after the the day is 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 like a uh, Plus, we're well, like only chasing, chasing uh, circle around it. Chasing is uh, that's all. Every single one I looked at them, every single tafsir have no mention the earth. Try to make it like a, like a deception that the the people that they have somebody mentioned that the earth is round. Nobody in the salaf or the khalaf or any fuqaha mentioned that the earth is flat, uh, round. Because the guy called Ibn Munada, Munada, who uh, uh, is a uh, tabi. Ibn Munada is not Salaf, uh, the first. Uh, the second is a uh, is a tabi, 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 tabi. He's uh, 250 years after the immigration. The immigration, after the immigration, uh, when the immigration happened, 10 years after that, the Prophet died. So if we take 10 years from from 50 is 46, and if we take another 20 year to to the guy to get. Uh, To grow up and start understanding hadith is 220 so 2025 that's long way before the prophet died to even he remember hadith or or uh, you know to say anything and i did look up and i didn't see any hadith that he say what he say no what well, here they said is that they say It's clearly who making this uh, website, uh, Wikipedia. He's uh, he's claiming something that is not exist in the in the scholar book. Uh, Ibn Taymiyyah does not say the 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 earth. Yeah, this one is a uh, is <laughs> is Korawiya. Even uh, the. I don't know how they put it in Wikipedia that, but this is so wrong. Let's see how the proof. You know. Where? shows that the earth is round. Okay, this shows that the earth Where? is round because Taqwiyah wrapped the night and the day around each other. Yeah. Now, one easy argument I can make is the Quran, according to the Salaf, the, 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 the early generation... It's the uh, nobody... According if there is any call for ulama of Korawiyah, the earth, the earth, Al-Ard, Dokar, when the name Al-Ard, uh, it doesn't exist. It does not exist. So you cover Layla, you cover Layla Ala Nahar. Night is day. Is this okay? Is nobody say what this guy is saying? Yeah, هذا على هذا وكل مكان هذا. They put this one on this one, and even we have another. Uh, 
you know, here we have another Quran explaining this one. Yulij al Layla fin Nahar wa Yulij al Nahar fin Nail. So we're gonna leave the Quran and we take one Tabai to explain to us what you know what it mean. Wa Yajiu bin Nahar wa Yitabli. They bring the night, the day, and they take the night. There is nobody Sahabi. Uh, where is this Sahabi? That's Tabari. There is nothing here. I've been like for two, three days. Keep looking. There is nothing here that guy he say. Even to those people, and Ibn Taymiyyah actually had a sanat which is uh, Muqtasil, Ila Ibn Munada, <coughs> believe that the earth is round. Now, there no. are some people who say the earth is flat. There are some scholars. Okay, we're gonna, we gonna, uh, we gonna show exactly what, uh, what, because these people think that. Uh, if uh, apostate prophet or another guy who is uh, standing up or david wood he cannot read uh, now the the historic in in their proper language i think nobody going to show them what these people do uh, these people just now making claims putting things in the internet that ibn Taymiyyah says something but ibn Taymiyyah did never said Ibn Taymiyyah did never ever said that the, the earth is round. Let's see here. Istidrak al Aflak. Istidarat al Aflak. This is not the, uh, the, the here. He does not talk about the, the, the earth. Al Aflak is the thing that are in the sky. The, they call them Al Falak, when mean Kawakib. When they see them, they are planet, they see them, right? They, see, they used to see them by eyes. They are round. They see them round here because some people said they are not round they are flat then blue Taymiyyah come and speak but they take his word and i know and make it in uh, some pages facebook and say every Taymiyyah said uh, no Ibn Taymiyyah doesn't say that uh, let's say al basra he talking bad he said bad some some uh, some uh, some ignorant uh, ignorant people said that the, the, the this a flag uh, be very well you know be aware of, of this word you know this is does not mean earth here it does not talk about the earth al ard there is no art here. He is an aflak wal fulk, you know, al fulk tajrif al bahar wa tajrif al sama. Because they said fulk in the bahar, like a, like a, a boat, and in the sky the stars be, uh, because they are moving, because they see them moving. You know, they see them by eyes moving. And he's talking about this aflak, they are around, not uh, flat as earth because some people they said they are like earth flat but some people said no they are not like earth they are round and Ibn Taymiyyah coming and he want to tell them those are round and he gonna bring the proof why they are around فمنهم من ينفي ذلك جزما ومنهم من ينفي دا ينفي الجزم به على كل أحد كلاهما الجهل he said uh, this is like uh, the the thing about this uh, shiuch uh, they call shiuch al-islam they talk too much to give you one one specific point i mean if you don't you know understand arabic and you don't like be very you know you read a lot of this uh, book uh, fiqh you know the juristic books you will not understand thing about what he said he said both of them they are wrong because some of them say they are there but they have no proof another one said that's what all of us said where he bring this uh, proof that he said this you know is not round we are, we have proof in the book and the sunnah book mean here the quran sunnah mean the hadith here the quran the hadith that the the aflaq he's still here talking about the aflaq there is no mention of earth the aflaq is round yeah, this is another verse here, 
everybody because they see these uh, stars moving around they are like uh, sailing they see them والشمس ينبغي هي ولا الشمس ينبغي لها ان تدرك القمر ولا الليل سابق النهار وكل في فلك يسبحون nobody going you know out of his order and everybody running in his way you know and all of this in the language of arab is round those things up in the sky up to here he does not talking about the land or down or anything here uh, hijab bring waqala ta'ala the way he is take this one yeah and place it with the with the, the earth you know how shame you know that's here does not talk mr uh, hijab talking about if you go all the way here i'll uh, be talking about the aflaq and the aflaq is nothing to do with the with the actual earth we are in yeah astrology you see he does not talk here so just go down so we explain how the prophet used to see our world you know how the prophets see so the, now we have two explanations mr uh, mr hijab bring his explanation from a verse from tabi'i he was born in 256 something after the migration let's see what the prophet said about the earth we live in and how it's uh, to the sky we devote to you to forgiveness to Allah and we devote to Allah forgiveness from you فَقَالَ وَيْحَكِ He's, He don't like him to tell him this one he tell him don't say this إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَشْفَعُ بِهِ uh, He said the God is not something like he going to be something between you and somebody else God does not do this favor to anybody from his people he's uh, he's bigger than this shahu his uh, chair ala samawati he his chair upon him uh, upon the skies where he said like this and he show him with this hand like a, a dome so the throne of uh, of allah is in uh, above you know above the sky in a dome above the dome and the sky is a, like a dome on the earth that's Ibn Taymiyyah what he's saying so so Ibn Taymiyyah if you just scroll down from the place he caught he will found this one and I don't know if he see this one or not but I don't know how he can وَإِنَّهُ لَا يُطَعْطِئُ مِتْلَ أَعْطِيتِ الرَّحْلِ الْجَدِينَ you know how to explain this one to you is like I'm doing now yeah, his chair, he's making noise like a new, uh, new thing when you buy it from uh, from the camel when you put the uh, used to travel like new ones. He making this noise, you know, biraki bi. Yeah. There are some scholars from the, uh, the early generations who say that the earth is round. Why is I mean, there, there, there are many among them who say that it's flat. Why are yeah, we but, correct? Yeah, there's two interpretations. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Why, why, why are we doing this selectively? So I, 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 I agree. I agree with you that. Okay. Yeah. There, there, there is no selective thing here. The thing he thinks it does not exist in the, in the, in the scholar or any classic fiqh or any fiqh. This uh, never said that the earth we are living in is round. They was talking about the flag and have nothing to do with the, with the actual you know courtman. He caught just to confuse people. So people because maybe think people cannot read Arabic only because he I thought maybe he just learned a little bit Arabic and think he is the best one. He can read Arabic and understand the fiqh. Well, there was also the self. Like who? I, 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 I cannot memorize the uh, name. I, I want to tell you, he said like who? It's like he doesn't know who. It's all of them. All the Salaf agree that the earth we live in, not the aflaq, not the asteroid thing, they are up in the sky, no. They are believe that the earth is flat and everything else is around and going around the earth. Then he said, if you ask Allah, the, the, the paradise, ask him the paradise of the Firdaus because it is in top between Al Jannah and Hal, and there is between them uh, the, the throne of the Ar Rahman. The Firdaus is uh, above and the medium 
وهكذا لا يكون إلا في صورة مستديرة. This one is only in a round picture. فأم no no disagree between scholar that the sky is like a ball. Sky is like a ball. Do not talk about الكرة الأرضية or the 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 earth. No, they talking about sky is a ball. وأنها تدور بجميع ما فيها من كوكب. And the all of it. In the sky, going around Al-Qura, you know, and east. One in the north and the east, and sky going around to the north and the south in a circle round. That's how people see. Why they say this? Because they see the kawakib, they see the the planet. Jamiyuha tadoro min al-mashriq. All of it go from the from the the east. The yeah, the east. تقع قليلا على ترتيب واحد في حركتها ومن قادر أجواء تتوصل السماء فيما تنحدر على ذلك في أنها كأنها ثابتة في كرة, كرة تدورها جميعا دورا وهي that's why the old is saying this is everything up in the sky is round and going around around the earth and all is staying still not moving and earth who's still and the sun as well is going around and everything else is going around I don't know where his point that he say Say clear, you know. Ibn Taymiyyah, I don't know, he's keep disproving him and disproving him again and again. This is the same saying, Kitab Majmu' al Fatawa al Ibn Taymiyyah, Fasl, Fasl, yeah, Fasl, Estidart al Aflak. He say clearly here, he know, wa alima, he know, he know that the sky above the earth, mutlaqan, definitely, definitely. لا تصور أن تكون تحتها. They never think that the sky going to be down the earth. It underneath the earth. قط. Never ever. قط. وإن كانت مستديرة. Even if she was around. Sky always above you. You know they always above you. It's talking about the sky and the earth is always have to be you know and underneath. The earth always have to be underneath. Mean here. To those people who said that Earth is round, they told him. They told him, like I want to explain you as a, in a simple language. They told him that even the Earth is round, he still is in the, like he's in the middle of the universe. It cannot be outside the middle of universe because if she can, if she, the Earth is not in is in the middle of uh, of the universe, uh, that means there is another Earth, and that is he's never going to. He was never going to accept because the the. Because the Earth is one, is not too many. In the Quran, there is one Earth, and there is sky, and there is the God throne above it. You know, above the Firdaus Laala. So Ibn Taymiyyah clearly disproved him so many times. He made explicit prophecies about the future. He told us in in many hadiths where Islam will spread. He told us Islam will spread to Egypt. He told us Islam will spread to India. He told us Islam will spread to a single hint. My my reply to this argument that the Prophet had prophesied that Islam going to spread to Turkey, to Palestine, India. Question: What time this this hadith have been written? You know what time this thing have been written? This prophecies who wrote them and when and how? So they have been written way after this thing happened, and they are written. So there is no basis on, and the most of them have a weak narration. The most of a hadith, I can't tell you from now. The most a hadith I looked up on for nearly now four or five years. I'm looking in the in the side Arabic side. There is all a hadith looking about this one. All of them have problems. All of them have problems. All of them. None of them, you know, none of them have have a solid proof, you know, that the the prophet say this one. All of them daif, daif, a hadith daif. India and was now Pakistan. He told us it was. Or did sit and bayna yadi saat. Count six things between the hour. Daif. One of them is Moti. From the Fath of Bayt al-Maqdis that Jerusalem was going. Daif. Islam is going to enter. Daif. Jerusalem, which is a place which is the crown jewel of the Roman Empire. Daif. Islam predicted the demise of the Roman Empire. 
Islam predicted the demise of the Persian Empire. Islam predicted the, the, the construction of very tall buildings. Meaning it's not like they're making high building. Yatatawaluna fil bunyan like Yatatawaluna fil ba'ir. Yeah, like they, they buy too many. I buy two, you buy three. And me and you, yatatawal fi fil bay' wa shira. I have two cars, you buy three cars. I am atatawal, like I am better than you. That is what the meaning and the Arabic that time. The meaning now become a tall. They want to make it like going high. Fil bunyan. No, the the tatawal. Laysa is not like he want to. You know, explain to us like when the the prophets say yatatawaluna fil bunyan, he was meaning uh, if you go to even the sharh del hadith, you will find that the meaning of the hadith that they have like you have house, another one gonna have two, three house, another one because he was promising them the spoils and to get more money and to get that that's why he tell them to tatawaluna fil bunyan so people can go to jihad you know and have money and start buying more and more islam predicted the uh, the advent of sexually transmitted diseases like aids and no there is nothing in the in the in the quran or hadith that he say that there is uh, con uh, say something about this and the Quran, can it be interpreted? Can someone pluck out verses and make it interpreted to fit a flat earth model? I'm not saying no, but what I'm saying is that we one question you ask this guy is this. I'm gonna ask him this is are we gonna start explaining the Quran by our head or are we going to stick to the the rules that have been for 1400 years Al-Qur'an when you gonna understand this one Al-Qur'an yufassaru bil atari wa laysa bil ra'i wa laysa ra'yuka that's not uh, your opinion the Qur'an explained by 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 atar by the hadith not by your opinion and if we have hadith and if you have sahabi or even anybody say something we don't explain Qur'an just like that we have had early interpretation using the we don't have early interpretation nobody say in in even that sahabi he doesn't say that the earth is korawiya is around he said that a flag and lately he just started to put in thing and put in earth even time even even to me is way way before you know way long before the prophet die quran is that the earth is round and in fact there's more vigor in that direction so in other words more people like as i've just said to even munada from the salah he's caught by ibn Taymiyyah and his kitab he's only now ibn munada he keep going and going back to ibn munada again we told you ibn munada is 256 you know to he born he born 256 years uh, at least seven or eight well, generation and oh fire, I believe in heaven. I actually believe in those things, bro. Preach. I, I don't believe, turn, I think it's pretty ridiculous. Turn, people are gonna live in the hellfire and crackle in there. And I believe that there's some people that are gonna be in heaven and they're gonna live there. And, and you will live an eternal life for Kashaf al Rahmanu ala Saqihi Fala Tak Tak and when he put his legs, the God, you know, he he uh, take his legs, you know, show his legs and put it inside the, the fire and the hellfire make sound like tak tak faqal you know faqala laha hal min mazid you know faqalat hal min mazid and she's speaking and she said ain't enough i need more so yeah that's what he believed you will live an eternal life without any purpose and nothing you will live an eternal you will live an eternal life doing nothing at all purpose. no yeah, no he doing something a sex a sex a sex and <laughs> wine <laughs> What's gonna happen if uh, if you are in the paradise and you have unlimited, you know, unlimited time just uh, you know having sex? Sex. What happen if uh, if you do nikah shubha in the, the paradise? What what mean nikah shubha? Nikah shubha it, it is like somebody who sleep with somebody or someone or a woman thinking that his wife. For example, you go in inside a uh, place, a khayma place, or a house to that you think your house or your room, and you used to like uh, you go inside, you found somebody sleeping there, you think is your wife, and you sleep with. When them. you realize it's not your wife, that's called nikah ashubha, and because we have uh, 
الولد للفراش وللعاهر الحجر the prophet said الولد للفراش son for the bed and and who commit adultery have been stoned وللعاهر الحجر how he said he have no contradiction oh how how about the abrogate laws and nasikh wal mansukh lakum deenukum wal yadeen in that we call here wa qaidan saraka al ashhur al hurm faqtul al mushrikeen al quran full with contradiction and and only one single verse wa ma nansakh وما ننسخ من آية أو ننسها نأتي بخير منها. A verse, you know, he said any verse we abrogate, we bring a better one of it and or or best. How is this possible? This is not a contradiction of Allah. He's supposed to know everything. Have you studied each of your four areas for ten years? Not, not, of course not, because you you have you have studied. You have studied for the certificate. I'm talking about certificates, not about not about not about degrees. Like three years, two years for another one, one year for another one, two years. One year. You can get a certificate in Islamic studies for one year. Hijab, Mr. Hijab, think everybody have a certificate. He is now Islam and he uh, he is now eligible to speak and other other people have no right to speak. So, Mr. Hijab, you don't know uh, nothing even with your certificate. Even you study 20 years, 50 years in the Islam, you still don't know nothing because you are not, not because you don't understand Islam, but because you understand Islam and you using it to profit from it. And now this, you making money from this thing and you think that uh, that uh, people cannot know you know what you know or you are you somehow better than everybody and know islam better than everybody or something like that no you d you don't know nothing about islam and all uh, the thing you said even in this video and every single video i watch all of them are lies and uh, nothing is true i didn't spend time following your your claims i didn't found anything you know anything what you said true thank you guys for watching and see you again